Now, for the U.S.-Russia relationship, which I'll talk about uh, mostly in my, my few minutes, uh, for the reset, uh, there have been three key uh, issues on security relations that have been driving the Obama administration's desire to improve relations with, uh, with Moscow. The first and most important has been Iran and the, uh, the, uh, the urgency of, uh, of their nuclear weapons uh, program. The second has been Afghanistan and the much larger bet that the Obama administration has placed or higher priority the Obama administration has placed on winning the war in Afghanistan and therefore the, uh, the role the Russians play in, in providing uh, supply and transit of uh, materials, both lethal and non-lethal, to our troops in theater. And the third uh, is, of course, the, uh, the nuclear security agenda, uh, which without uh, making progress with, with Russia is, uh, uh, is impos impossible to move forward on. I think there's no question as we look at uh, uh, you know, the 15 months or 14 months since the Obama administration has taken power that the U.S.-Russian relationship has improved considerably. Now, it's improved from a, uh, a very low point. It's a very low bar. In fact, if the, if the relationship had not improved, which it was basically frozen uh, at the end of the Bush administration after the war in Georgia, um, uh, there was the danger, literally, of a, of a new, cold, new cold war. This security summit next week will focus on the weapons usable material. There is enough material, depending on who you talk to, for between 120,000 weapons or 300,000 weapons. That range demonstrates right there that we need to do more. We need to exchange more information. There needs to be a lot more transparency. And this is uh, a job that is for all countries, not just nuclear weapon states, not just nuclear weapon holders like uh, India, Pakistan, and Israel, uh, but for all states. And so going back to the agreement on what the threat is, one of the functions of the summit will be to get greater agreement on the fact that there is a threat, to get all countries to say, yes, we agree this is a problem. Uh, so the White House hopes for four things, uh, that countries will be engaged, they will be more aware, they will pledge to do something about this, they will adopt best practices, and they will provide assistance uh, to other countries. Mm -hmm.